In this video, we are going to look at how to combine two textures and transition between them by using an empty object. This is the model I am going to use for demonstration. The model is unwrapped and the UV islands are arranged according to the textures. This blender file together with these two textures are available, if you want to follow along, link in the description. First step is to get into the shading workspace and set things up. Select the bottle and then add a new material. Add in an image texture node. Click on open and navigate to the required location. I am going to select one of these textures. I'll go with the orange one first. Connect it to the base color of principled BSDF. Assign the cap the same material because it shares the same UV map with the bottle. Reduce the roughness value to 0.3 to slightly increase the shininess. Shift D to duplicate this principled BSDF. Add in another image texture. This new image texture is for the second principled BSDF. Click on open and navigate to the textures. Select the other texture, which is the blue one. To quickly connect a given node to the material output, you press Ctrl Shift and left click on that node. Add in a mix shader and connect it here. The purpose of a mix shader node in Blender is to combine two or more shader inputs based on a specified blending factor. Therefore, connect the second principled BSDF to the mix shader this way. Add in a noise texture. This noise texture is going to be the factor in this mix shader. Therefore, connect color to factor. Add in a color ramp and connect it after the noise texture. The purpose of this color ramp is to control and map the colors generated by the noise texture to achieve the desired visual result. If you adjust the color stops, you see the effect on the surface of the bottle. Moving the color stops close to one another creates a sharp transition between the colors. If you have not enabled the Node Wrangler add-on in the preferences, just make sure that you have it enabled before proceeding. After that, select the noise texture, press Ctrl T to add the mapping and texture coordinate. On the texture coordinate, change it to object. On the noise texture, change it to 4D. Connect vector of mapping to W. This W represents the fourth dimension. Then disconnect vector. As you can see here, there is a glowing effect along the transition of the two textures. Therefore, add in an emission shader node, put it here, then give it a different color. A color like yellow is good. Increase the strength to a higher value like 50. Shift D to duplicate this mix shader and connect it after the first principled BSDF. Connect emission to the mix shader. Then use this color ramp as the factor. To get a much thinner glow, you adjust the color stops further. You can go to Render Properties and enable Bloom in order to see the glowing effect. The next step is to create the actual transition. Add in Mix Color and connect it after the noise texture. Add in a gradient texture. Connect color to the B input of the mix color. If you want to achieve a dramatic look on the edges of the transition, you adjust the values on the noise texture. In order to control the location and rotation of this transition, add in an empty object in the 3D viewport. You can pin this node tree so that it doesn't disappear every time you click on other objects. On the texture coordinate, use the eyedropper to select the empty object in the 3D viewport. If you move the empty object along the x-axis, you can clearly see that it is affecting the look of the transition. 
To make the transition move with the empty object, connect mapping to the gradient texture this way. If you move the empty object, you can see that the transition is adjusting accordingly. The empty object can be rotated as well. You can scale the empty object in order to get a more dramatic look on the transition.